Yo, what is up boys and welcome back to yet another video. This one is going to be talking about three big new survival game announcements and updates which have happened in the past 25 hours. I could have probably stretched this into three different videos, but I'm not going to milk you guys because you guys are not cows. You guys are people, okay? The first of those three games is Icarus, which is a new survival game made by none other than Dean Hall which you guys should know made the Daisy mod and was involved in the development of Daisy Standalone for a few years until he left to make his own development studio Rocketworks a good few years ago now and he's finally announced his new survival game. We'll also be talking briefly about the new EFT update which is a teaser for their new Streets of Tarkov map looking really really cool and we're also going to be briefly talking about Dead Matter and their delay for the alpha launch. First and foremost, let's talk about the thing which I'm sure you guys have seen in the title and the thing which I'm sure a lot of you are most curious about. Not necessarily excited, but most curious about. Dean's obviously got a lot of flack throughout the year since he did ultimately leave the Daisy development team, like I said, a few years ago. But it is unquestionable that he did definitely contribute to the gaming world we know and love these days in a big way through obviously his contribution of kind of kickstarting the survival genre with the Daisy mod and Daisy standalone, and also technically starting up kind of the battle royale genre, believe it or not, since the first battle royale iteration made by Player Unknown was actually on Dean's Daisy mod. So yeah, Dean, like him or not, he's done a lot of good for the gaming world. Anyway, let's talk about what the hell Icarus is. If you want to check out the Steam page, the trailer, and all that kind of stuff, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Many people have described it as a kind of mix between like Rust, Escape from Tarkov, Daisy, and all of those are mentioned for a reason because of how the gameplay plays out. Looking at it, it could just be a really, really basic survival game, but the reason the EFT mix comes into it is because essentially, as you would have seen at the start, the players, which is you and a bunch of friends, it looks like it's up to four players or so, start off in a space station, you then get deployed on a mission on one of numerous different planets, and you then perform kind of a survival task to then escape, as you can see right here, back up into the space station. And those tasks can vary from 30 minute, really short missions to things which are 48 hours real time. Obviously it's unlikely that the players are gonna play for 48 hours straight, but the idea is much like Escape from Tarkov, it's round based. And if the time runs out on these rounds, then you lose everything. But if you do die to an animal or you die from fall damage or whatever else, then you can be revived by your friends. It does look unlikely that was PvP in the game. Rocket did do an interview after the showing of this at the PC Gamer show last night, but there wasn't any mention of PvP, which personally, uh, I don't know about a PvE only experience, but uh, we will see. They are releasing it, not this year, but 2021. I will see the gameplay right here looks uh, just kind of janky. I'm happy that they're not immediately pushing this out. But Rocket ultimately does have a lot of money and a lot of talented developers on his studio, Rocketworks. So if there is a chance, this could turn into something you do like. I'm personally not a big fan of sci-fi. I know Dean's always loved sci-fi a lot. His previous game on Rocketworks was a... Um, a space game and I have heard him mention a few times how big of a fan he is of Space Station 13. When you guys know Space Station 13, that means you like space and you can also enjoy 2D games. I cannot. Other than Terraria, we love Terraria. I personally think at this point you probably should have just not shown the game because like I said it does look kind of janky. But like I said, Rocketworks has a lot of money. I know they've had Brian Hicks back to Rocketworks, which obviously worked with Dean on Daisy Standalone. We've got an X Dead Matter developer, we've got an X for Dead Linger developer, we've got an X Miscreated developer, we've got Jeff Keen, who worked on the Dead Linger many, many years ago. Not all these people are necessarily working on this one project, but I'm sure a decent amount of them are. And in case you're wondering, I did actually miss a big, big detail of this game at this point. This game is going to be free to play. Completely forgot about that one. But yeah, it's free to play. So, although a lot of people do, like I said, seem to be very skeptical of Dean Hall being able to make a good game, I do think with all of these developers, uh, with experience, uh, under Dean's belt and his control, there's a chance that I could all come together for actually a decent game, even as someone who isn't a massive sci-fi fan. There isn't really much more information on the game right now other than what I've shared. If you do want to check out the website and sign up for the alpha, then you can do so. Like I said, it's not coming out until probably next year at least. But ultimately, TLDR is it's a session-based sci-fi game where you collect minerals and try to survive and keep your oxygen up and transport your stuff to your big old ship and then put it up to your big old ship and then you get the juice. It's EFT, but in space, okay? Everyone keeps on saying it's not EFT. It's EFT, kind of. 
but less PvP. The reason I mentioned all the staff with four both away is because we're all from survival game backgrounds, so I think there's a lot of passion there. So maybe all that passion will come together and make a good game, we don't know. Also, something to note, which a lot of people didn't really realize, but Dean did have an announcement for a game like a few years ago, I think five years ago now, called Ion. I don't know exactly what his role was behind this game, but it's just supposed to be a survival game in space too. It's supposed to be like Space Station 13, but like 3D. I don't know what happened to that one, to be honest. There is a news article about it, but I'm not going to read it, but it is interesting to note that. It ended up being cancelled for, I'm sure, a reason that is specified in the article, which I'm not going to read. Uh, I don't know, this, this Icarus could go one of two ways. Time will tell. I, I don't know. Could be good, could be bad. On to the next game. All right, boys, we're on to a part which everyone's totally here for. Escape from Tarkov. If you didn't see already, Escape from Tarkov showing their first teaser for their highly, highly anticipated new map, Streets of Tarkov. Well, here it is. And if you want to watch it without me talking, I'll leave a link again in the description. I'm going to leave the volume high because it's, it's tasty. It's tasty. A lot of people ask me every single day still. I've been playing it a lot in the past few weeks. I'm level 39 right now after the wipe. Uh, they've asked me, should I buy EFT? I really do think you should. There's a bright future ahead for this game. A lot of new content, some DLCs in the future and stuff like that. Oh my God, it's getting loud. It's, it's, it's actually like making me like, I don't know, I'm getting jittery, dude. I'm getting jittery just watching this again. I've watched it like six times. I'm addicted. But yeah, this new map is gonna be the biggest map on Escape from Tarkov so far, the most ambitious map. There is some pretty big maps right now in Escape from Tarkov already, so that's uh, pretty cool to see. But it's just a game with such small detail. You can see right here, going in the back of a medical store, on the back, on the door, there's like a phone number and stuff, just showing, hey, this is a medical store. Just look at the shelves, look at the, look at the, the just the micro details. It looks fucked up, right? Not to like shit on DayZ or whatever, and that game's got some things going for it, and it's a good zombie style game. It's a different kind of game, because it's a massive, massive world with a lot of players, whereas this is smaller worlds with a decent amount of players. Um, that game just doesn't really feel post-apocalyptic. This isn't obviously supposed to be post-apocalyptic. Well, maybe it is technically, but it's supposed to be post-fucked up. You like that? Like that timing? So yeah, right now there's no release date for this. Nikita did have an interview on the PC Gamer show as well, but he didn't mention a release date for a reason. A lot of people were speculating it's going to be coming up maybe later on this year on the next wipe or just before the end of a current wipe. Wipes normally last like five, six months. So here's hoping for that. We have no idea to know how far in progress this map is, but you can see not really too much from this video other than, hey, it's a city. And the music's getting really loud again. Really, really loud. And also the V-Sync is terrible. Holy shit. My screen's tearing. Please turn on V-Sync. We see some great memes while well inside the living room right here. In a second, if you look to the right, make sure to look to the right, guys. There's a doge on the wall. And there's a bronze line right there. There's the clock. There's the doge. The clock's right above the doge. And then when the player looks at the window, he realizes he is, in fact, he's not on reserve. He's on streets of Tarkov. And that's a city. And then the music gets really, really loud here. But I'll leave it for you guys. Ah! Turn off! Oh, that's much better. Okay, we can hear stuff now again. Yeah, so that's, that's really, really cool. And I was, well, I was hyped for that one, dude. I was, uh, like, yesterday, these two announcements came, like, an hour between each other, and I was just hyped for both of them. I'd say both of them were kind of disappointing, but at the same time, it's something to be excited towards, you know, just finding out what both of them uh, do for their respective games, I guess. And this is a picture I found from Reddit user Blitzoy. Pretty cool comparison between 2015 and 2020. I wouldn't say I was disappointed, by the way. I was just, um... I wanted something now. I was impatient, you know? But yeah, uh, they did show Streets of Talk of many, many years ago. But making a fine piece of art takes a while sometimes. Regardless, EFT, very excited for its future. Ignoring Streets of Talk of many, many exciting things coming, trust me. Okay, we are now onto a final part of the video, guys. Talking about another survival game. Like, if you watch this channel, you probably like survival games interaction. Roleplay? A bit too, but there's no roleplay games. There is survival games coming out, though, so... Yeah, Dead Matter was delayed from its June release. It is going to be an NDA release anyway, so it's not like I can record it or something, but it is looking like it's going to be coming out in July. We'll talk about that a bit at the bottom of this. But the last time I've shown Dead Matter on my channel, and a lot of you guys might not just know about it because of this, was 2017, three years ago now almost. And the game's been delayed time and time again since then. The game has changed so much in the way it looks, the way it feels, I'm sure as well. Not bad, no. But you guys don't look terrible anymore, although we still do just look pretty much just like EFT, but... Not EFT, so I don't really know how I feel about that one. Also, I did realize, looking back at the video, I did mention twice that one of the staff members behind the game is Jeff Keen. Um, and, yeah, I, I mentioned him twice. I, I don't know how I managed to do that. But, yeah, a Dead Linger. Do you guys remember Dead Linger? Maybe not, but that game actually kind of sucked. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Jeff Keen's 
a better developer now. Or, I don't know if it was even his fault that the game sucked. Uh, who knows? Maybe... I'm just going to stop. I'm trying not to be too too nasty, okay? Because it could be good, and you just don't know at this point. Dead Matter, on the other hand, I think is going to be disappointing a lot of people. The thing is, a lot of people are shit-talking Icarus for saying, this game sucks, Dean sucks, he's going to abandon it, you know? Yada, 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 right? And that's fine, they could be wrong, but it does seem like Dead Matter is on the polar opposite side of things, where they're saying Dead Matter is going to be fucking amazing. And ultimately, they are confined to a relatively small budget, not too many developers because of this, and just not really that much talent because of this. Uh, money is very, very important, but if we go ahead and look at their Indiegogo, Dead Matter Indiegogo, I think so far they've raised £500,000 or so. Let me have a quick look at this. Yeah, £600,000, a decent amount of money, but ultimately... Daisy doesn't suck because Bohemia are fucking idiots. Daisy sucks, if you're going to call it sucks, as many Dead Matter fans do. It sucks because making an, an open-world zombie style game with hundreds of players and fucking, you know, barricading systems and AI and all this stuff is very, very hard. You know, these videos that were shown in the past few months of Dead Matter, all of the dev blogs, all that kind of stuff, will make it look like, oh, whoa, there's going to be, like, hordes and all this kind of shit. But ultimately, when it comes to getting on a server with all these players and all that shit and not just doing a single-player asset show... It's going to be a different story. Networking is one of the biggest things, I'd say, which holds back these zombie survival games from being what everyone wants them to do. Making a big open world zombie survival game is hard. And I, I maybe I'm wrong on this one, but I don't know if, you know, less than a million dollars and a, a handful of developers is going to be able to outdo Daisy, which had over a hundred million dollars, a lot more time, and I'd imagine at least more talent, you'd think, right? No flame to the dead matter guys some of the, the in specific the the weapons the assets in the game are really really cool i think the map needs a bit more work but um yeah you'd think just just using this uh this base of logic that there's no way dead matter could be better than daisy right so i'm very 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 skeptical of this game right now it seems like no one seems to be too skeptical but essentially the tldr is we talked about the questing system looks kind of weird they talked about um uh, having new meshes for players female and male top of the trading system which obviously you guys if you haven't seen already dead matters inventory system is literally eft not just because of this but also because when you do search something it has the same searching animation as eft i do wonder how dynamic these thumbnails or those these previews of the guns are because those are really really well done in the eft because they are literally dynamic you could like take the buttstock off a off a gun and it would dynamically change not because they have a preview uh, a saved image of the gun with the buttstock but because it's dynamic whereas with this game um I, I don't know if it's dynamic we can't tell here because these two are the same these three are the same this one's the same as these two but it's not like there's a buttstock missing off of one or a foregrip missing off of one they're literally the same so i'm not sure if that's because they are actually the same or because there isn't a dynamic system there you know and then they did also talk about map expansion saying that they did expand the map some decent looking images we can look at the full slideshow not slideshow uh, images here, um, but again, not to constantly compared to other games, and I know it's bigger in scope, I guess, kind of an EFT, but uh, it just doesn't, those images don't look great, to be honest. Uh, I didn't actually show this earlier, but I really should have, but EFT did recently show some pictures of something. We don't know what this is still. It could be from Streets of Tarkov. It's probably unlikely. It's probably from a customs expansion, maybe, but yeah, those are looking just cute. EFT has such an attention to micro detail. Like if you just sit here and look at it, you know, the vents, the circle um, wire right here, the the shit at the bottom, the uh, the wood on the floor, the wood against the wall, the sukabliats over here, you know, the imperfections on the wall over here, the uh, step over here, the wooden box. It's just so many small details. And then you look at something like um, like this, and you can see maybe a similar scene, which is underground, and it just doesn't look quite as fucked up as it should do in a zombie style game so yeah i don't know about deadma i i'm still staying incredibly uh uh, uh fuck skeptical that's the one <laughs> uh and i don't see anyone else taking the stance of being skeptical i see everyone else is saying whoa it looks fucking amazing yeah the assets look good and all but bringing it all together with electricity npcs all this kind of shit that we're talking about I think is going to result in some serious networking issues. I might be wrong. I'd love to be wrong because I don't have a good game. But I don't think it's going to be as uh, as epic as people think it's going to be on release. Maybe after a few years. Maybe it could become literally Daisy but better. But I think on release, it's not. there's no way in hell it's going to be better than Daisy. It's going to be undoubtedly worse than Daisy. And it's going to have a plethora of issues which will need a long, long time to fix up. But yeah. 
Whenever this game comes out of NDA, don't worry, I will be playing it just like I will be playing all the two games we've shown us today, Icarus and EFT. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little update of the survival genre. Um, if you did, let me know and I'll do this more often. If you didn't, fuck, you probably didn't. Ah oh, well, have a good day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Also, 7.5 kilometers by 7.5 kilometers. That's a bit smaller than Shinaris, but it's a good size. Which is bigger than you expected. That's good. That's good. Maybe. Or maybe it's just going to make everything explode even more. Maybe.